<laughs> this is why I don't have a cooking show, is because I don't have any interesting stories to tell you right now. Like, nothing in my life uh, relates to guacamole, you know. We just have it sometimes. I always buy it at Chipotle because I feel like my bowl is incomplete without it. It's just... But like, Chipotle guacamole isn't even good. Like, I never just buy it when my mom buys it, you know, on the side. I don't do that because it's not good. It doesn't have any flavor. Apparently they put onion and stuff in it. And like cilantro, but I don't taste anything. And I think it just tastes like mashed avocado, which is not bad, but it's just not guacamole. It's not what I want. It needs to have flavor. So, I don't buy it. My mom buys it with chips and stuff, but um, antique taco guacamole, magnificent. I could eat that all the time. I don't know. It must be this grilled jalapeno, an insider tip, I guess. I don't, I also like, I'm not gonna just add it all in because I don't want the onion to overpower the guacamole. I, like I said, I just want it to be there and for you to taste it and be like, oh wow, okay, like, there's onion in this. So I'm gonna measure. I have one tablespoon. Maybe I'm supposed to chop it finer. This seems like decent sized pieces though. I don't know. I don't know what they want from me. Sorry guys. I thought this was gonna be fun to film and I just feel like it's not going to be fun to watch. Um, my hands are clean. You guys saw me wash my hands. I'm just going through and separating the onion because it's, you know, you don't want four pieces of onion in your mouth at one time, that's overpowering. Okay, I heard Despacito like four times a day. Ah! I dropped onion. I wonder what happens if we network when they drop food, like, are there just people down there that pick it up, or do they have a dog or something? Definitely not a dog. You wouldn't you'd be able to hear it if there was a dog. I'm going back through, and if anything just looks like kind of too big, I'm going to slice it. But you also don't want it to be too small because you don't want to lose it either. Because then you just get confused. It's like, is there onion in here? Is there not? What's going on? I don't see anything. And I'm like, I do taste the flavor, but I like, have it bit into a piece. So, like, what's going on? What did you put in here that makes it taste like onions? And that's like, oh, it is onions. I wish I would have been able to tell that. Nobody feels that way. Okay. Dude, are red onions not supposed to make you cry? Because, like, I'm, I'm feeling fine, and I'm literally like digging through these onions, like literally, you know. So I was looking at flights yesterday. I just really want to go somewhere. Like I just want to sit on a beach, and I get it. We have beaches in Chicago, but I mean, like, I just want to go somewhere where you're just like you just can walk to the beach, and the beach isn't crowded, you know. And I really want to go to Michigan, like soon. We should figure that out. So, for this jalapeno, you're just supposed to remove the skin. Now I'm not going to be able to touch my face for the next 30 days. That's an exaggeration. Oh, yesterday I had a dream that I hosted a party. And it was fun. And I wish that I had the house to host a party because, like, this house is not the place to host a party. I'll tell you that much. And then what you're going to want to do with jalapeno once you get all the skin off. So I'm going to take the stem off. And then I'm going to slice it in half and remove the seeds. I'm just going to chop this also into smaller pieces. I like, didn't even know that there was jalapeno in antique tacos or guacamole. Because it has like good flavor, but it's not anything that you're like, oh, 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 that's too spicy. It just tastes good, like, it's just good stuff, you know? Who doesn't like good stuff? So, when I was growing up, because <laughs> I'm grown now, um, when I was, like, really young, we didn't really watch TV that much, but when I, like, discovered, like, oh, watching TV is a thing, we didn't have, um, like, Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel, 
So when I got home from school, I would watch like PBS Kids, so Arthur and Dragon Tales and all that stuff. And then at five o'clock, it was either five or six o'clock. I remember like my dad would always get home at the same time as the news would come on. Like it would switch from the kids programs to the news. So I would watch a Food Network. My favorite when I was little was Admiral, and then I I still really like Bobby Flay. Um, Rachel Ray. I have Rachel Ray's cookbooks for kids. Yeah. But Bobby Flay is still my favorite. So I chopped the jalapeno pretty small. It's starting to rain if you can hear that. Sorry. I'm singing. I'm in a storm. And I'm so good. So I'd say that my garbage bag is working out pretty well. This is great. Great idea, Courtney. Good job. Thank you, Rachel Ray. Okay. I think the next thing I'm going to do is the cilantro. Look at it's so much. Like I didn't need that much, but there's packaged ones that were smaller but more expensive and I was like, that's stupid. So I'm just gonna rip some off there and that should be plenty of cilantro. I just want it to be clean and fresh. So I read something about cilantro. If you like cilantro it's genetic, basically. Well factoid for you. I personally like cilantro. I wouldn't marry it, but I don't hate it. You know, people that are like, oh, it tastes like soap. I don't know, I thought that was interesting. Too bad that wasn't on the biology exam. Genetics, it could have been like cilantro. <laughs> I'm so smart. Why don't you give me a seven? Just kind of piling it up on itself, and I'm gonna just try and chop it a bit. I think I uh, got just exactly two tablespoons of cilantro, so that's awesome. I need two medium cloves of garlic. I do love some garlic, I'll tell you what. I have two large cloves here. Okay, you just texted me. Ah! Came close to the finger, guys. I love the smell of garlic. It smells really good. Keep the vampires away, and we like that. So thank you much. Okay. Something I read a while back. If you want to get the smell of garlic or onion off your hands, you just rub metal. Yeah. Something about the ions and stuff. Chemistry, wow! We go for the, the big boy. Because without the avocados, we would not have guacamole. I have two avocados here. And they both say, right now, these are avocados from Mexico. You want them to be soft, but not too soft. Also not too firm. So I got this handy dandy avocado thing here. Uh, it's got a blade, it's not a sharp blade, just like a blade to get through the skin. So I'm gonna do that. Bring it around town. That totally missed. Great. Then the great thing about this, it has a thing to get out the seeds. Boom! And then the other side of this has um, a thing. <laughs> and you just kind of stick it in the meat of the avocado. Why are my tools not working for me today? Piece of work! I'm just going around the avocado with my spoon. Avocado number two! So we need to figure out when everybody's free because we need to go to Michigan or like go to a beach at least and we need to do things. Also, I really want to get to Second City before I leave, before we all leave, start college. Alright, so let me show you what we're working with here. We've got the onions on the bottom. Followed by the jalapeno, the cilantro, the garlic, and then I just add the avocado that's on the top. I'm going to mash it with a fork, and then I'm going to get the lime in there. I want it to retain some texture. Um, I don't want it to be completely smooth because then I feel like that just looks like processed guacamole. You want it to look homey. I'm just folding everything into it. It smells really, really good. You can smell the garlic. It smells really good, guys. Who invented guacamole? I'd like to thank them 
if I ever win a, an Oscar or something, I'll thank Guacamole for getting me through some tough times. Bringing families together. Okay. Now it's time for the lime. Yeah, so I bought these limes, and it cost me 51 cents. I'm going to use this one because it's nice and green and pretty. I'm going to give it a good roll. Just get the juices flowing. It says to start with half of a, half of the juice or yeah. half of a lime. The juice of half of a lime. Wow, words. Use them. But I think I'm just going to go for it. I just remembered that I have a tool for this, but I'm not going to use it. That was a lot of lime. You don't want it to be too limey, you know. Just like enough, where it's like, ah, oh, a little lime. For the last step, I'm not going to do that much salt because that kind of sounds absurd. I'm calling for half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, and then to finish it off, a teaspoon of EVOO. Okay, with that, ladies and gentlemen, antique taco guacamole. Not served as nicely as antique taco. It's like pretty nicely, nonetheless. I don't want to give it a minute for things to like, you know, marry the flavors. Get together. Woo! Okay, go, Bucky. Go. Good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Wow. Alright. Oh my god, that took me an hour to make.